Sonic the Hedgehog month rolls on right here on Hibiki TMD. Welcome back. Hibiki plays. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, but doing some live streams. Uh, yeah, it's nice to just sit back and play my favorite Sonic game of all time. It's Sonic 2. God damn, though, is it hard. Probably the hardest thing about it is there's no uh, continue or save feature. So you really got to go balls to the wall getting extra lives in here. But let's do it. Let's play the greatest Sonic of all time, in my opinion. And yes, God, it's still, to this day, it's a gorgeous-looking game. Uh, dare I say, one of the best-looking games on the Sega Genesis. I still think the best-looking game on Sega is Castlevania Bloodlines, but that's the fanboy in me, but this is right up there. Um, and not to be outdone, of course, by Sonic 3, Sonic & Knuckles, 3D Blast. Uh, yeah, but this one... I don't know what it is. I played the first one first ever when I was a kid, and I, I, I was just talking to my buddies on my group chat on Twitter the other day. I still remember where I was the very first time I ever played Sonic the Hedgehog. It blew my goddamn mind. I think it blew everyone's mind at the time who didn't have a Master System, who only grew up on NES. And yeah, just the, the blast processing and the speed, it was just absolutely motherfucking mind-blowing at the time, and it really made you just go ape shit and wanting a Sega Genesis. And I still say this game right here is the harbinger for the Sega Genesis popularity. They tried, obviously, with Alex Kidd as the mascot for the Master System, and it just didn't work out. But let's do it. Let's. Uh, I've played this level so many times in my life. As you can see, I can give histories of so many video game franchises, not even blinking an eye. I start to suck dick in this game on Stage 2, Chemical Plant Zones, where it's all downhill for me. So, uh, yeah, I may look like an ace right now, but trust me, I'm going to shit the bed here. Um... In no time. Well, that's Act 1. And I'm not one of those Sonic players. Yes, I love the Son the old Sonic games, and I, I'm, you know, I, I like to say I'm fairly decent at them. But I'm not one of those people that know every secret to a Sonic game back in the day. Like, I know my fair share of Mario secrets, but with Sonic, man, gotta be honest, I'm just worried about getting through the goddamn level half the time as opposed to the secrets. Um, yeah, maybe someday I'll, you know, I'll try to unlock all the goodies within Sonic games, but I know 3 has a shit ton of secrets. And no, I have not played Sonic Mania. I really, really need to get on that. I know I'm like two years behind. I heard it's amazing. I really wanted the goddamn Sega Genesis statue that came with it. Someday, though, get my hands on Mania. Let's do this. You gotta watch those little spikes. Those are the spikes that'll get you. Many of foul language has come out of my mouth over the years due to those little sneaky disappearing spikes. Ooh, I want that again. <coughs> <coughs> And as a little prick Michael Cole would say, it's boss time. My god, one of the easiest bosses ever in any game, let's be honest. Really, you're just waiting. Waiting long enough and easy enough that you can make Sonic's head go up and down to the beat like that. And even though I do own this physically, my Genesis is a little rough for around the edges, so I'm playing this on the emulator, so I'm aware that all the graphical flashes and there's some glitches on this. It's the emulator version, but if you want to be a dick about it, I'll send you a picture of my physical copy any day. I just... God, I love my Sega, and it's on its last legs, to be honest. I don't want to put it through any more wars than it has to, you know? I talked to my buddy uh, Jim from Drink a Beer Play a Game at the time. I hate fucking gatekeepers of emulation. And Dude, it's fun, it's free, and I mean, by now a lot of these companies have made plenty of money off these old IPs where they're not going to be hurting for food or anything anytime soon if I download an emulator, so fuck you, basically on the emulator situation. But, uh, here we go. I've really got to start, stop talking so much because I'm about to suck shit at this game. And god damn the soundtrack, I mean, as you hear, is so good. This level right here has got to be one of my favorite songs of all time in any video game. Chemical Plant Zone's where it's at. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I hate those fucking blue things too. Blue slime balls, whatever. Those guys are a tricky 
Uh, tricky dicks too, because you gotta really, like speed dash them. And that was my favorite feature about this, and it blows my mind. Like, yes, I get it. Sonic One is great and fun, but I always put this one above one simply because of the the uh, the dash you can do, the charge dash. It added so much more strategy. It, it added so much more fun, quite frankly, to the Sonic games. So that's why I always put two as my favorite. Man, I really do. I really do think that was such a needed and welcome addition to the gameplay features of the series. <laughs> Do a little head bopping. Just waiting. Just waiting on these silly little blocks. Oh, and if you get seizures easily, I apologize. You should probably turn this game off now, because goddamn. will start to hate these blocks. Oh, you fucking dick. We've actually been racking up some extra lives pretty pretty fast. Getting 100 rings. <laughs> Digging it. All right. Now it's go time. Oh, need those rings. I am not starting any level without any rings in there right there. It'd be idiotic. <laughs> it's another great thing about the early Sonic games. I know when the 16-bit era dropped, uh, you know, a lot of platformers, they stopped such a linear pace, but a lot of times, more times than not, that made games worse because you just get a lot of repeated backgrounds feeling you know what I mean like it was just it, it just felt like you were a rat in a maze and it took a lot of fun out of it this is a game that balances it so beautifully in my opinion perfectly there I say where there's there's a good bit of linear feeling to it but this level you start to get that where the fuck do I go kind of feeling but it's not too much you know it's it's just enough to get you a little bit of frustration but enough to want to finish the level and fuck these spiders by the way So fun, so good. Sorry for that bit of choppiness. Still. Oh god damn it! We were doing so good. I thought we were gonna one-shot that level. Fuck me. And that's what you'll die more times than not on this level. And I'll stop saying more times than not. It's a bad habit. But yeah, you always fall in the purple slime water on this. For me, that's how I always die usually. It's never from taking hits. Never from getting killed by a boss. It's always falling off those fucking platforms. Well, what can you do? That's Sonic for you. Get up there. Ooh, fuck you, spiders. And I'm not one of those people that hate Tails. I don't mind Tails. He's fine. I, I hate the voices they usually give him, but as a character, I thought he looked cool as a kid, and I was kind of bummed as a kid that I, you know, I wish you could just pick which one you want to be. Because a lot of times as a kid, I wanted to be Tails. I won't lie. So don't get the hate on Tails. Plus, his name's Miles Per Hour. How badass is that? So... Tails, you get a pass for me on, on Hibiki TM. Now Amy Rose and all that other fucking cannon bullshit they had. What the hell? Did you see that? I've never done that on a Sonic game. I've never gone through the ring glitchy. Wow. God bless emulators. That was amazing. God. <sighs> I'll see you, Tails. That always happens, too. No! God! 
Get up there. Get up, get up, get up! Get up! Ooh. Uh. Ooh, actually. I hope there is an actual way to get back up there because that's kind of dickish to put that there. Well, maybe not. It cancels out your death, I guess. But I'm three rings away from getting another life, so... Oh, there we go! The gymnastic springboard. Back into action. All right. Welcome back, Tails. See you later, Tails. Every fucking time! It never fails. Tails will always die fall off and die there. Silly little orange fox thing. Is it a, he's a fox, right? It's gotta be. Oh, damn it. At least it wasn't spikes. They're just weird ramps. Forever. <laughs> oh, damn it. We will do this eventually. Slow and steady wins the race. What? You all right? I went right the fuck through that. You guys saw it, and that was my biggest gripe, and is why I was always a Mario guy over a Sonic guy. At the end of the day, both series were really goddamn good. Two of my favorites, but Sonic always felt so much slipper slipperier to control. And it was way more glitchier like that. You would always go through platforms in a Sonic game more than you ever would in, the, in a Mario game. Mario was perfection, pretty much. It was the standard. See, ugh, that one, that one was probably on me. I didn't, I don't think I landed that one, but... The first one was definitely the game. Fuck you, game. Alright. We can do this. As much as I want to throw the controller right now, I'm not going to do it. Mother fucking now I want to throw it. But I'm not going to do it still. Because I'm a puss. I don't want to break my own shit. Sad part is we gotta do all that over again. I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna concentrate. Off the platforms, just gotta stay in the middle. Boom, take all those hits, sloppy bitch. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, that is stage two. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Chemical Plant Zones in the books. Tune in next time, part two, as we bop our heads to the beat right here at Bicky TMD. Hey, Bicky plays Sonic 2. Sonic Month rolls on. Subscribe, hit down below on Twitter at the Abiki Team D, all that good stuff. Until next time, Vicky, please. Give me my.